Now let's do one more example. Uh, note that now it is an initial value problem. But the, the procedure is still the same. So in order to move y squared to the left hand side, we've, we've got to multiply our differential equation by y squared. And in order to move dx to the right hand side, right, so we need to multiply by dx. So then we are going to get um, on the left hand side, we are going to get y squared dy. And on the right hand side, we are going to get 4x cubed plus 1 times dx. And then we write the integration side. Now we've got to find the antiderivative. So here we get y cubed over 3 equals the antiderivative of 4x cubed is x to the 4 plus x plus constant. Well, now what the initial condition can um, tell us is that we now we can solve for, for c because the initial condition tells us that x equals 2 and y equals 3. So we can just substitute it and solve for, for the, the, this constant. Well, maybe um, let me rewrite it a little bit like this. I'm sorry. Um, y cube equals 3 times x to the 4 plus x plus c. Then um, x is 2, so y is 3. 27 is 3 cube equals 3 times um, x to the 4. 2 to the 4 is 16 plus 2 plus constant. All right, so then 27 divided by 3 is 9 equals um, 16 plus 2 is 18 plus constant. So our constant is negative 9. Yeah. So therefore our y cube is 3 times x to the 4 plus x minus 9 and y itself is going to be 3 times x to the 4 plus x minus 9 everything to the power 1 third. So that's the answer. Now, um, well, we found the answer, so it is a good idea to verify it. Strictly speaking, it is not necessary, but for the purpose of the, this lecture, and, uh, well, if you are on a midterm test, it is really, if you have time, it is really an excellent idea to verify your answer. Um, so, the answer is, that we just found, is y equals 3 times x to the 4 plus x minus 9 to the power 1 third. Let us verify the initial condition first. So in the initial condition, y should be 3. And then is it true that 3 equals 3 times uh, 2 to the 4 is 16 plus 2 minus 9, everything to the power 1 third. Correct or not? So 16 plus 2 is 18, minus 9 is 9, 3 times 9 is 27, and um, cube root of 27 is 3, so it is correct. Okay, fine. So the initial condition. Uh, has been verified. Now let us verify the differential equation. So the left hand side of our differential equation is dy dx. So let us uh, find dy dx. So here we have the power one third in order to, to differentiate uh, the power of one third. We write one third times three times 
times x, well, whatever expression we have, x minus 9. And then to the power 1 third minus 1. 1 third minus 1 is minus 2 thirds. Minus 2 thirds times times the derivative of whatever is inside 1 third, the power of 1 third. So, and that is, there we have 3 times the derivative of x to the 4 plus x minus 9. Then the derivative of x to the 4 is 4x cubed plus 1 minus 1, 0. Okay, excellent. And notice that 3 and 3 cancels out. Now, the right hand side. The right hand side is really 4x cubed plus 1 times y to the power minus 2. So 4x cubed plus 1 times where is our y? So our y is 3 to the x to the 4 plus x minus 9 to the power 1 third and then to the power minus 2. But then we ra when we raise a power to another power is the same as to multiply the exponent by minus 2. So I should just write minus 2 here. And now you, you see that I got exactly the same thing as the left hand side, which means 